Hi, this is Minna. Like, share, subscribe. News 10 Tamil. Because of whom I am here in the art field. At the outset, of course, I would like to thank Srimati Revati Ramachandran and Srimati Manaswini and the parents of Sahana for inviting me today to be the chief guest. To call this an Arangetram would be, I think, an understatement. What Sahana has displayed today is an artistry and expertise far beyond a debut performance. I think we need to give her a very big applause for that. When we face the stage for the first time for a full-length concert in front of a very discerning but supportive audience, there are a lot of emotions that a young dancer goes through. <laughs> And whatever fears she may have had, she obviously kept it to herself. Because on the stage, she performed in a very professional, confident and a very happy manner. Because of which I think all of us could enjoy what she was doing. The credit to that is largely hers. But also her guru here. Her gurus, I would say. Because Revati is in her usual humble self, she says, I didn't do anything. We know, we see her hand. We saw the beautiful choreography, for example, in the Varnam. So, Manaswini has trained her extremely well in a tradition of Guru Manguri Durai Rajayar, which is not easy. Uh, we may say that every style has its own specialities, and so what is so special about this style? The emphasis on the Nritta to a point of complete perfection is not easy to attain for a young dancer who is having her arangetram. To do full justice to the demands of the style and to do full justice to the demands of the mridangist who was challenging her like a sawal jawab constantly giving her inputs and expecting a certain reply in that, I think she did a wonderful job. And uh, as far as the orchestra is concerned, they are all stalwarts, they are all experts. But what is so special about them is instead of showcasing their own individuality, which they could do because they are well capable of that, they come forward to support the young artist, to fill in at every stage, to give her complete orchestral confidence so that she can perform what she has learned to the best of her ability. So a very big applause for our orchestra. At times when I was listening to the vocalist Preeti, I felt like getting up and dancing. It was so beautiful. And of course, we know the violinist, Mirutangist and the flautist, they all gelled together. It was a team. It's a team effort, always. And all this has been possible for Sahana because she has parents who recognized her talent and supported her. I think they need a bigger applause. That also goes to show what responsibility we have as parents. It is not just enough to identify the talent in a child. It is important to take her or him to the right guru, the right teacher. This is a world of distractions, a world of immense temptations. And to channelize a child's talent in the right manner is a big challenge for all the parents today. And I think the parents of Sahana have done a wonderful job. The fact that she was able to dance so confidently without literally a worry in her mind shows the kind of support systems that are there to sustain her. This is important because at different stages in a child's journey through education, particularly in today's world with so many demands, sometimes there is a desire to just draw all this dance, music, everything, especially when they come to the 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th standards. My only request to parents here whose children are learning an art form, please do not let them leave their dance or music class. The amount of benefit that they get from there, I have experienced personally. 
invariably when there would be an exam the next day there would be a concert the earlier day we learn time management we learn resource management we learn to challenge ourselves to stretch our limits we learn to concentrate on multiple things at the same time with equal sincerity all these lessons i learned only as a performing artist not even in school so those who have children who are learning an art form please encourage them not just till their shalange puja or their arangetram but through their higher school years which is basically from 9th 10th 11th 12th even if they are they are in the 12th let them go to dance class let them go to music class some of our greatest stalwarts in the country even scientists have all been musicians okay and some of the best quotes on music and dance invariably come from these great achievers so there is no compartmentalization in our holistic scheme of bharatiya art form based on sanatana dharma we are all sanatanis we were there earlier we are there now we will always be there and i speak with the confidence of a tradition which has sustained for nearly 10000 years and it's not going to go away anywhere so and when those who are very recent if they can speak with so much of confidence i don't know what should stop us from speaking with equal amount of confidence but with grace and humility because that is what sanatana dharma teaches us it doesn't teach us arrogance it teaches us grace it teaches us humility because we are looking at a great tradition we are just a speck in that but that speck is precious and that speck is has all the elements of being confident self assured and that speck has to carry forward the tradition nothing should make us be afraid of what people speak what people think because we are doing a swadharma that is why it's called dharma there are many others which are isms but this is a dharma and unless and until i remember what is my dharma dharyati idi dharma that which sustains alone remains so all our performing arts are based on that dharma and we saw this in full abundance today and i think we have to be very uh, fortunate that we can be celebrating these art forms again and again through the talents of these young girls who are at the threshold of their career and we hope and pray with all the support and wishes from each one of you that they will be able to take it forward for generations to come as far the as far as the items are con- concerned i just want to make one or two remarks before i wind up uh, of course whether it is the traditional mallari or lalari po they were picture perfect items but i think one of the favorites was really the varnam that's because i have seen it being performed as a very young girl by shrimati shri vidya the daughter of shrimati ml vasant kumari with uh, mlv singing for it and guru dandaya dipani pillai reciting the jatis i was a very young girl i hadn't learned any varnam till then in dance class but when i saw it i told my mother who was my teacher then i want to learn that varnam that was the first varnam i learned and it was so beautiful and nostalgic to see it today done in all the glory and of course with the jatis of revati instead of uh, pilasers so it was a wonderful item the other particular aspect i want to mention is that even in the javali as a young girl she managed to sustain the bhava throughout okay i think it was a wonderful performance i'm sure the items which are going to come are going to be equally good and shuddhan nuttam literally took the cake it reminded me of course of the pada patha that my guru used to do and the tatkar that is done in kathak and there were the sequence where we use vrichava which is one of the charis which is very similar to odissi so finally all the dance forms in the country whether it is what we call in courts classical or in courts folk or in courts tribal all of them are based on one common substratum cultural substratum and my only request is 
may that tribe increase thank you so much shri jp shruti sagar is an accomplished flautist in the field of carnatic music he received his initial training on the flute from shri bala sai he later pursued music under the tutelage of dr sundar learning from a vocalist enabled him to employ the gayaka style in playing the instrument Sagar is known for his strict adherence to tradition and has carved a niche for himself in the field. He has often been compared to the yesterday of maestro Sri T R Mahalingam. He has been performing at major sabhas and festivals across the country. Among several awards that have come his way are the prestigious Ustad Bismillah Khan Yuva Puraskar from the Sangeet Natak Academy. Yagnaraman Award of Excellence from Krishna Gana Sabha Kalki Krishna Murthy Memorial Award and the MS Subalakshmi Fellowship from Shanmukhananda Fine Arts Mumbai He is an A grade artist of the AIR besides masters in music he holds a bachelor's in mechanical engineering We will now honor Shri JP Shruti Sagar I would like to take this opportunity to honor the following people without whom the program would not have gone smoothly helping us with makeup we have shankar we have shri shankar helping us with makeup in charge of lights we have shri venkatesh from krishna and sons for invitation design photos and videos we have shri ayappa narumugam of a4 media for live stream we thank shri balakumar of balaji media The creator of today's beautiful flower arrangement was Mahesh of Kumara Vilas Shri Mahesh of Kumara Vilas We would also like to thank Kumari Ashika for backstage support as well as Shrimati Shanti Arumugam for all her support backstage in all programs of Kala Sadhanaya We also thank Shri J Bala Krishnan for taking care of logistics for all the programs of Kala Sadhana Laya. Thank you, Shri Bala Krishnan, to please come on the dance. so much for your immense support i would now like to give a brief introduction about kala sadhanalaya kala sadhanalaya was founded in 1987 by shrimati revathi ramachandran to propagate the melattur bani of bharatanatyam taught to her by guru mangudi dore raja iyer shrimati revathi has conceptualized and choreographed choreographed group and solo productions such as ambalattilaadum jyoti ayar kulatilakam jaya jaya bharatam lakshmi vaibhavam om sharavana bhava daini tirunila kantar brahmaatma chakram laya nirupanam and jagat pavani ganga on assuming the post of director of kalakshetra foundation 
Srimati Revati has handed over the Kala Sadhanalaya Institution to Manaswini. At this moment, I would like to acknowledge the staff of Kala Sadhanalaya. Srimati Kavita Charles is a senior disciple of Guru Indira Rajan and has been a part of Kala Sadhanalaya for 12 years. She trains students in the Melantur Bani and has many productions to her credit. I request Srimati Kavita to come onto the dais. Shri Abhinav, who is currently pursuing his PhD in Sanskrit, has been training students in Purna Vidya and has great knowledge about Nyaya Shastra and Sanskritam. I request Shri Abhinav to come out to the dais. We would like to specially thank Divya Arugam for being Sahana's first teacher in Kala Sadhanalaya. <laughs> Lastly, we would like to thank Ganavi, Sahana Shri and Sinduja for helping out in this Aranghetram. News and Tamil channel like, share and subscribe. Thank you.